it's time for another World of Tanks game. Yay. Well, I say yay. It's it's hard to tell. I've had a lot of games today which if someone said to me like, hey, hey, hey Mark, how how are your games today? I'd say, well <coughs> they were uh, I mean probably one maybe more than I lost. Actually no, that's probably not true. I I won we, we won certain games, we lost some games, and that's normal. But what makes me kind of sad is um what makes me sad is how little impact I actually have in games. Even when I mean I'm a tier five tank here, I'm sort of top of the top of the tiers. I should be doing some more. And most of the games I've had today and I haven't recorded those ones because I die very quickly. I decide I'm gonna cover sort of like the left hand lane or, or the middle lane or one of the lanes. And the rest of the team goes the other way. And after about five minutes, the enemy team seems to notice that it's just me on my own here and they overrun us and that's that's the end of it. So this time I decide I'm actually gonna try and stick with some other people, see where everyone else is going and go fuck it and going with them. And there's already people basically complaining in the chat that that's what everyone's doing. So I'm not gonna sort of condone kind of like following the lemming trade and just going where everyone else is going. But I thought I'll give it a try and I'll just be rather than being the heroic defender who holds up a bunch of tanks on his own and fails, I thought I'll try and be the guy that's just there that's just around. And I don't actually get a huge amount out of this game. And I do some really fucking stupid things. And if you saw my Churchill video, you'll see that I've got this and, and Churchill video and a reference to a lemming train, you can probably guess that if I'm parked on the cliff, I'm gonna at some point decide, you know what, let's just go for it. So shoot, this, and again this is gonna happen a lot. It's gonna take me a while to get used to actually. And here it comes! Yep. There we go. So I really like the the uh, Panzer IV Aus Ausflachtung. I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that. The the Panzer IV Scout Car H. And I like it because I think it, I'll be honest, it, it it's classy looking. It's got it's got a long skirt revealing a flash of tracks at the bottom that if I was the sort of person to to take tanks to dinner. You would take the, the Panzer IV H out for, for dinner and it would you wouldn't want to go to like a greasy like a greasy spoon or a fried chicken joint or an all you can eat buffet. No, this is a this is a classy tank that you know expects the best. Expects the finest even. There's probably tank fetishists out there. In fact, I'm pretty certain that given essentially unlimited access to the internet, you can find a fetishist who's into pretty much anything. So, maybe, maybe a tank fetish isn't that weird. It's probably worse. I'm trying to think of some. So, objectifying the Panzer for H is something. This game is actually going really well for our team, and I feel bad that I've. I've done nothing to this. Like, watch this. Bang! Right, I got a kill. Yay! So at least I've got a number next to my name, and I'm hoping that the rest of the team won't notice that they, they won't even go, oh god, look at that guy. He doesn't even have a number next to his name. He doesn't even have numbers in his name. All the cool kids have numbers in their names. So I was kind of buoyed by, you know, we didn't even scratch them. taking out that KV and thought, alright, well, I can take out this one. That was a lie. In fact, that was a really stupid decision on my part, and I died. So, yeah, less than five minutes into the game, and I'm already a wreck. But it goes well. It goes well for the rest of the team, and at least I die doing something. Admittedly, not much. And the rest of the game is now spent with me looking around, flicking between the tanks, trying to work out what I want to look at. I noticed that there's a heavy camping in their base, and I think, yes. Maybe I didn't check actually whether or not he achieved it. There's a there's a heavy personal mission which I'm struggling with, 
which has caused a thousand points, you've got to cause at least I think a thousand points of damage. That's not too difficult. But you've also got to participate successfully in a camp. And that's the tricky part, because if you if you can, if you start capping, the rest of your team always goes, Oh my god, don't cap. Yeah, kill, let's go inside, kill all. That's kind of yeah, he, he, he's hungry for that last kill. And in a way, I don't blame him. It's a tier 4 tank destroyer, you probably could hunt him down and kill him. But I feel sort of sorry for anyone who's trying to achieve a, a personal mission in this game where you're trying to perform a successful cap. Because not only are the 15 other players on the enemy team trying to stop you, but probably 14 other players on your team are getting pretty angry and resentful that you're doing it. And there's nothing wrong with camping. See, look, they camp, they win, everything's fine. And, yeah, there you are. So, the moral of the story is, even games that I win, I don't do a huge amount. And I'm hoping that over the course of, sort of, a month of dedicated tanky play, I'll, I'll start having more of an impact in games. And also that capping is fucking hard. <laughs>